Hi, I'm Dave Harrington from American Expedition Vehicles. Today I'm going to talk to you about the new material that we're really proud of for our bumpers and skid plates. Uh, maybe you've heard of it. Um, it's hot stamp boron steel. And what that means is it's a very special alloy of steel. It's heated up red hot and then we stamp it together. And in the die, it's actually cooled rapidly and quenched and it comes out as a hardened steel. It's incredibly resistant to bending and to gouging. It's, a, it's just super, super tough. And this is the first application of it being used in a non-safety related component. So about 10 years ago, Volvo started using this material in the A-pillars and the doors and around the doors and seat belts um, for safety. And now almost every modern vehicle uses this for crash components. So you'll see this in the A-pillars, the door beams, um, and sometimes the front bumper behind the fascia in the little, little crash beam. Um, so again, first application used outside of safety stuff. Um, and what it allows us to do is come out with much lighter and stronger products. So this is our current JK skid for the differential. This is 22 pounds of quarter inch thick steel. There's some 3 16 uh, reinforcements. Um, this steel material is called, it's, uh, if you look at it in terms of strength, it's 28 KSI material. That means it's 28,000 pounds per square inch is what's required to bend this to a permanent bend. Um, whereas our new component, if you can imagine this, this is only two and a half millimeters thick, it's six pounds, and this is 215 KSI. So 215,000 pounds per square inch to permanently yield this. It's remarkably strong and remarkably light. It just doesn't weigh anything, and it's honestly the perfect skid plate material. Look forward to it in our new JL bumper, um, as well as a lot of additional skid plates. Now, the downside to this material is it's very expensive and it's very difficult to form. Um, so we can't use it on every component, but we're using it on all the major components where it really matters. Um, very resistant to tear and um, it's just, it's almost the perfect material for skid plates and bumpers.